Hey guys, so I'm in Bergen with my girlfriend. <laughs> we are in Bergen right now. It's uh, not raining today in Bergen, but uh, normally it's raining quite a lot in Bergen. <laughs> yeah, no, so I'm in Bergen because Marte studies in Bergen and I'm originally from Bergen. I lived here until I was 19 years old and then I moved to Oslo. And uh, today we're gonna check out my old climbing gym where I grew up. I have spent thousands of hours in that building and now they're gonna tear it down because they're opening a new climbing gym. Yeah. So I just wanted to make sure that I could make like one last video before it's uh, torn down. It's gonna be old, it's gonna be dusty. Oh! <laughs> and what are we looking at now? What's the... Right now we're at the fish market. This is like such a cliche uh, in Bergen. This is where all the tourists go. I uh, don't think I visited the fish market once when I actually lived here, but... <laughs> we need to show the cliche tourist the... things. Bergen is the most rainful city in the world. Yeah. I'll Google, how many days does it rain in Bergen? It's only 239. Yeah, but that's <laughs> only 239. <laughs> yeah, but I thought it was like 300 something. Yeah. So Marta, this is your city. This is my city. <laughs> Where you study? I was born here as well. So yeah. we're born in the same city. I'm studying economics here in Bergen. <laughs> yeah. And then in May, you're moving to Oslo, right? I'm moving to Oslo, that's right. Yeah. Moving in with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bergen actually used to be the capital of Norway. That's right, like a long, long And now time it's the second largest city in uh, Norway. Thank you for driving all the way here. Of course. Just to film a YouTube video. Not yeah, to hang out with me. You're gonna drive back with me and then we're gonna film another video in Oslo, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of climbing uh, outside around Bergen. But we should come back here in the summer and try some of that. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a weird feeling for me walking into that gym. Mm -hmm. This is so strange to be back here. I haven't been back here in like 12 years. This is where you go in with like the crane, the lift to set roots and stuff. I remember there were so many like rats and stuff back there. <laughs> really nasty. So this is not an advertisement for the gym. This is just a memorial thing, kind of. We see it for the last time. I'm excited to climb. I haven't been doing it for a month, I guess. And then before that, it was a month. <laughs> Magnus has been telling me to train hangboard. So I have been doing that like Four times a week, actually, Ooh. the last uh, week. And you uh, told me you've seen uh, progression. Yeah, I think it's very easy to measure progression as you only hang for like, I don't know, five seconds yeah. each time and then you have a break. Yeah. Okay. So, this is so, so strange. It's like the, just the way the door sounds and everything and the echo in here <laughs> brings back so many memories. It's the same. The walls used to be orange. Apart from that, it's like a time capsule. Like this is not a commercial gym, so all the money that the climbing club makes mm -hmm. go back to the reinvesting in holes and in athletes and in trips and all that stuff. So I, know, I have so many memories. Like I can s explain everything. Here, you know? <laughs> Just like I realized, you know, you see this thing? We actually bolted this to the ground. I think it was 2003, and then there was like a, a rope ladder. So you're climbing on a ladder. Mm -hmm. and it was fixed to up there. So we would like campus. Whenever the, you see, these are the T-nuts. Sometimes they would spin and then they would send uh, one of the kids behind the wall so we could like fix the T-nut. <laughs> this is like the most dusty place in the whole gym. So you could, you'd come out covered in dust and it's probably really unhealthy. Why did, why did they send the kids to? <laughs> Because we're small and oh, okay. uh, naive, you know. I thought it was kind of cool to be behind there. Is that safe? I mean, no, not really. You could be up in the overhang, you know. You could be chilling in the overhang, and you, you can peek through the little Tina holes and you can look at the climbers. Wow! <laughs> Imagine scaring someone while you <laughs> while you're behind the wall. Yeah, we actually thought about fixing like a car battery to the dross, so whenever you clip, you get uh, electricity, like no. uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you electrified. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I wish you could see how excited Magnus is right now. It's just, yeah. you were here for like three hours each day after school since you were 11 years old. Yeah, I used to walk from school to here. Mm -hmm. uh, I would pick up some food on the way. Yeah. I would eat here, do my homework here, climb here, and then my parents would pick me up in the afternoon. <laughs> what did your parents think about that? that they they thought it was great. And then I got my own key to this place from when I was, I think, 13. Wow. 
like it started in the beginning there mm -hmm. were no like groups for kids okay. we needed to um, get an instructor to belay us that was the only way we could climb so in the beginning for the first half a year I could only climb once a week and that just triggered it yeah. so much more for me and then when I eventually got the key it was like having the key to the candy shop Almost and I think actually that's why I still kind of like climbing alone like back only 15 years ago people would make fun of you if you climbed inside especially if the weather was good enough to climb outside there are a lot of good outside places to climb around here okay so uh, if you went inside to train you wouldn't tell anyone but I didn't really care that much about what other people said so mm -hmm. I did it anyways so you weren't part of the cool kids they <laughs> Everyone were outside? Uh, that was not the cool kids, that was uh, old men. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's look around. Must have been like, uh, what, almost 15 years ago. I placed these here, and they're still here. So now I'm going to place one of uh, my brand new stickers. <laughs> Beautiful. What, what is it? Now the, the circle is like closed, you know? Yeah. Now I can die complete. <laughs> <laughs> now you can die completely <laughs> after. <laughs> did your uh, did your sister climb here as well, or did she? Start? Yeah, my sister climbed here too. Mm -hmm. Did she start later? Uh, she started uh, half a year later. Uh, a lot of people asked me if we climbed together, but when I was like 12 and she was 10, <laughs> I didn't. It wasn't like cool to climb with your little sister. It but we went uh, on a lot of holidays with my family, uh, and they don't climb. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we were forced. Forced to climb together. Magnus to us, Ikke. There used to be a picture of me on the wall here. <laughs> they removed it? They removed it. It was actually a picture of me with the mayor of oh. the city because he picked me up when I became youth world champion in 2005 in uh, Beijing he came and he picked me up at the airport wow and then the newspaper was there uh, and they took a picture of us together what else can we is look there at? like is there a bouldering room there's there? a bouldering room upstairs we should do some bouldering afterwards this looks like a good route for you actually uh we have to for, for lead climbing yeah yeah <laughs> So this will be my main project today, I think. 8A to the first anchor and 8B all the way. But I'll start warming up now. Just do something easy. I can try the yellow that you're gonna try yeah. to show you <laughs> how to do it. On my project. Yeah. <laughs> you notice anything different, Mokta? Uh, oh yeah, you have a different, uh, different harness. Yeah, I don't even know how to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you have a new one? Uh, because I'm not sponsored by Petzl anymore. Probably gonna change to Beal and also Beal Rope. I'm not sponsored by Nogana anymore either. I was uh, with Nogana for I think seven years or something. Yeah, that's a long time you've been with them. It's a really long time and it feels weird not being sponsored by them anymore. Okay. Master, you you're gonna film uh, the second angle with Oops, with what? <laughs> <laughs> I just remember the the pain that I felt <laughs> both inside me <laughs> and then my arms last time I did this. It's um, yeah, but it was also really satisfying last time I did it. So. Yeah, I need to trust you sometimes, but you know, I do. You need to trust me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I need to trust you, but I, I mean, I do sometimes. If I'm like, if I'm already annoyed, then it doesn't like help to be, <laughs> to be pushed. <laughs> so we're at this stage in our relationship. <laughs> <We're>, uh, <laughs> Try no. not to get annoyed. <laughs> yeah. uh. <laughs>
Okay, für da vorne schon. Kom igjen nå. Neste er ganske godt. Kom igjen, Matte. Lett, bra. Bra, kom igjen. Kom igjen, du klarer det. That's pretty good. It was really, really hard to get the rope into the... Yeah, I saw that. The clipping is hard. <laughs> I'm like holding my breath every time you clip. <laughs> You're not scared. Uh, no, uh, no, I'm not scared while I... As long as I don't uh, look down, so now I'm... I was scared when I, tr when I climbed in here for the first time. Uh, just take a one minute break and then continue. And then try to go as high as you can. Du skal nå en slinge under deg, og en over deg. Du kan skippe den under, så bare så klipper den over. Men ta begge hvis du vil. Du kan ikke gå litt høyere før du klipper neste. Nice! Kom igjen. Jo, kom igjen. Kom igjen. The underclinging is good, yeah, 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 perfect. Come on. Come on, Mata. This holds are good. Come on. I found something. Come on. 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 I mean, I gotta say, you're really brave. You, you. you don't seem scared. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't really feel like I'm scared of the heights anymore. Like, I sometimes I feel, I definitely feel more scared of the heights when I do bouldering. So, yeah. but and I also like, as you said before, that it's it's so much more satisfying lead climbing. I mean, I need to learn how to clip faster so I don't use yeah. that much power just like hanging there, <laughs> trying to. I'm holding my breath every yeah. time you clip. <laughs> you do, yeah, me. Yeah. I mean, it's like even though. I had the the rope in my like between my fingers. I couldn't put it in because it's just. But long draw is that just what's the purpose just, of that? The purpose is uh, to uh, reduce rope drag. Oh, okay. Because then sense. the rope goes in a more straight line. I just wish I had more power to finish it. I hate leaving the gym without you know. <laughs> yeah, doing you put what a I lot want. of pressure on yourself. Yeah, but it's also. I mean, I'm climbing with you, so I just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of don't want to. Yeah, I don't know. I, um, I think we can all agree that that was brave. Second time we climbing, trying really hard, not brave, being afraid to fall. I was terrified the first time <laughs> I climbed up yeah. uh, that, that same line. But Just, you were like, I don't know, 11, 10 years yeah, old. Yeah, 11, 10 years old, but that doesn't matter. I mean. <laughs> but I also don't want to disappoint the people who are watching, because I, I feel like, because now, we, it's been a while since the 
the first time I climbed. Mm. I should have been climbing more. I really should have. I definitely need to kind of prioritize it a lot more yeah, than I have. Between the studying and everything. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think I'll try the pink one just next to the yellow. 7B, 7B plus to the first anchor and 7B plus all the way. But actually, I don't like what they did to the wall. It used to be uh, orange, and then it was also, there was a little bit of friction on it, and I prefer that actually. This is a 3D panel, um, so the holes are not, I mean, they, they spin easily mm -hmm. because the surface isn't even. Mm -hmm. And then when there's no friction also, then you need to put a, an extra screw into all the holes, otherwise they're just gonna spin. I feel like it looks nicer with white walls than yellow walls though, but... Yeah, it does. Yeah. The light, light in here, so for filming, this is much better, actually. Yeah. Then also, I remember this gym to be like, I don't know, three times bigger than it is. Because <laughs> when, when you're little, everything seems so much bigger. Yeah. I remember this was the first wall I climbed mm. ever. It's a vertical wall. Yeah. Do you have any routines for your feet? <laughs> no, I don't really have any routines for my feet, but Juji taught me this thing where you like, put one finger in between every toe. <laughs> okay. Why? Uh, to like... Blood circulation. Oh. And do this. And it feels like you're gonna break your toes, but... Yeah, that's... Yeah. That is not... <laughs> but actually, this is uh, something that I shouldn't do, like... Because in this gym, I've started climbing two times without being tied in. It's like... And it's like this, because I, I start tying in, and mm. then I get distracted, oh. and then I get on the wall. So you should always... When did, you, did you notice it when you were far up in the wall? Or? Yeah, I noticed it halfway. And then I got so embarrassed that I just clicked in and I put... Because the rope would fall off me. But if it hadn't fallen off me, I probably would have just let go when I got to the top. And yeah. I would have fallen all the way. Jeez. But I've done that two times in this gym, but I haven't done it since. It's horrible. Wow. I feel like you always tell me these really risky things that you do. <laughs> and you're just like, yeah, ha, ha, just like, <laughs> No, but this is something people should be aware of. Yeah, that's... Always finish your knot before doing something else, yeah. like drinking or, I don't know. Yeah. I remember I used to be able to do uh, one hand campusing on the big runs.
I wonder if I can still do that. Now I'm gonna try this. This is a shorter one. All small holds. Looks like a great training route. Mm -hmm. And now the shirt comes off. Like I saw some comments about that, how ironic it is that I'm making t-shirts. <laughs> <It actually is. laughs> I'm making t-shirt, but I'm not using yeah, t-shirts. I, <laughs> I was thinking about that. When are you gonna wear that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my feet. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Oh! <laughs> I'm actually allergic to dust, so this is what I do for YouTube. So, this is like an insert, and you don't see those anymore. So, instead of holes that are sticking out, this yeah. is sticking in. So, you can change this oh. by. Uh, unscrewing it and then you can change it you can turn it upside down or you can change this to be just like nothing or you can change it to be a small foothold but i think the point of it is that it's going in instead of out you know mm. because all the holes are sticking out yeah what's the why why did they uh, stop like doing that i don't know i think they just realized that you don't really need that mm. all the holes can stick out it doesn't really matter yeah it doesn't have to be yeah. complicated like that when i was training here this was actually I would say top three, top three best climbing walls in Norway. Mm. And actually, fun fact, Ålesund, where you come from, Motte, yeah. <laughs> that used to be like one of the best. Oh. And that's a small city. Okay. They have like an 18 meter wall or a 20 meter wall. People from Oslo used to be jealous at this. Yeah. Because they didn't have something like this.
see it. It's like a good triangle right here. I don't know, I, I just didn't see the, there's a triangle that you're supposed to hold mm -hmm. and I didn't use it at all. And also there's a pocket, like the, the one that I almost got, it's a pocket and I thought I knew the hold because mm -hmm. I, I know how it feels like. But then the root setter, he filled the hold with a, with a little screw on so you couldn't get into it, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> so that was a tricky one. I'm gonna try it one last time though, but I think we're gonna we're gonna end this video here because it's already a pretty long video. We're gonna continue in the next video. I'm gonna try this again. I'm also gonna try to see if I can still camp this with one hand on the big rungs on the campus board. So yeah, that was it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe as always. <laughs> also make sure to check out Martin's Instagram. She's a great help. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>